This is the outside, 2004 Baylander Sierra 242. Has a hard top, and the eyes and glass that you're seeing in the back is all new, along with the canvas, obviously. So it was new in 2012. It's in excellent condition. I would say that the trailer, in my opinion, is in excellent condition as well. Here's the front of the trailer. You can see it's a nice big roller bed trailer. Take you around to the hull. Nothing on this side. It's all in really good shape. Didn't see any scratches really or anything on this side. Here's that new Isinglass 2012. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's screens that are on the windows here. Walking around to the back. Transom area. Here's a large swim platform. Here's the pull-out ladder. Your trim tabs. Here's your engine. Mark Cruiser. Rather trim tab. Is that new ice and glass? Entry door. This is the only blemish I could find on the boat. This is in this area when he we got it new and came into the dock and caught the dock. So there's uh, some scratches up here. And down here is some, a uh, little bit of a gouge where he's fiberglassed it over. And that's uh, from the original, probably did it the summer of 2005. So there's a little scuff marks on this side. Those will come right out with a little rubbing compound, but no scratches. Uh, the bottom needs painting. So it needs new paint on the you know, bottom paint. Yeah. An anchor, there's where your anchor goes. And that's it, 2004. B liner Sierra 242. Alright, standing on the back swim platform. Here, this is the back of the boat. You've got a cup holder. This is your has a closed gate. Open. This is on the inside. This is the cockpit area. Right now you're looking at the captain's chair and down into the uh, cockpit uh, the cabin area uh, there's your well storage this is the engine compartment across the back pull up on that and the engine compartment opens there's transom seating back here with a flip up bench you can see that flips up and there's a pedestal table that fits in this area as well I'll have, have pictures of that on the internet. Speakers, another cup holder. This is the passenger chair. Storage here, there, and over here underneath the seat. So here we are in the captain's chair. throttle control and here's the console
down there is where the VH radio, VHF radio goes. There are all your controls, gauges, switches. Up top here, obviously, is the compass. And then your two Garmin's. One's a fish finder, and the other one is the larger one is the GPS. And the models are noted on the internet. These have sliding windows with a hard top. Take a picture across the hard top. There's three cup holders, little area for maps. Has one windshield wiper over here on the right side. Back to, so I can show you the condition of the seats, which are in good shape, they just need a little scrubbing. But there's no UV damage that I can see whatsoever. And the, just a little TLC, they come right up white as can be, and they're in great shape. Okay, going down below. As you first enter, on your left is the head. There is no shower in this one. Uh, it just has a toilet and sink. Uh, this is the dinette, very spacious, very roomy. I'm surprised at the amount of room that they used in the size of the table quite large so obviously this can be made up into a bed take the lower the table down and the cushion slide off the back fill in for a bed so there's sleeping for two three steps down uh, on the right here you see that's an air conditioner uh, that is uh, put in the doorway back here uh, which I'll discuss on the internet and that's the refrigerator. Walking down. The galley's here on the left. Start with a nice ice sink and a double burner stove. There's storage back in here. Here's the radio. There's circuit breakers and nice big windows right above the galley area to provide you with a lot of natural light. Going across, uh, the front two windows have the um, snap-ons that protect from too much sun. Uh, obviously they can be snapped off and can be used so you have full sun down here. Here's the other side of the windows, nice big windows. I'd estimate the size of the windows about 18 inches. And up here is a nice area for the dinette table uh, that, that remains, and that's uh, two cup holders and a ledge area for putting other food and other things. Uh, over Back over to the galley, you see the uh, microwave with storage below, drawer, nice big drawer, and lots of storage down here underneath the sink, which is quite unusual. So there's double storage here. Very nice. Opening the head door. There's the head, nice and clean. A three shelf unit that the owner put in. Nice feature. Grab rail. And you've got a window in here. Very nice. Nice light up above. Going across, that's it for the head. Then the big V berth in front, and the comforter goes with it. The stripe comforter. Um, then you've got obviously storage all the way around on both sides. Nice storage area and storage in that compartment. Uh, this is where the natural light's coming in from the uh, hatch. And there, there are screens on the windows as well. 
uh, we have a cable hookup here for cable when you're in the marina hookup and over here on this wall above the dinette is where the fire extinguisher goes things keys up there and that's it